what's up everyone welcome back to another video please before we start do me do me a favor by subscribing liking and sharing and commenting to the video it's gonna help me a lot all right so in this video i'm gonna show you how you can set up a vnc server in particular tiger vnc server i have x11 vnc and i'm unable to connect to it using the tunnel and in my other machines i was able to tunnel but i was using tiger vnc as the vnc server on them so if i try to do the tunnel as you can see here i have run the other command here and you can see that the connection is refused otherwise it's supposed to give me a prompt where i can put my password and when i put the password i can connect okay so here is my machine this is for red hat based distros not for any distribution some of the steps may be the same for the other distributions some others may be different so you can try with your system but not all the commands the ones that you think they can make you get tiger vnc server running well i'm gonna follow some of the steps of this guide my system is alma linux 9 I'm not sure if it's gonna be exactly the same on the other uh, systems, Red Hat based systems. It can be the same and it can be different. So the first thing is we install EPAL release, which I myself have it installed. So there is not no change that will happen here. It's already installed as it says. Next thing is to install XORG and XFCE. I have them. Uh, I have them installed. If you don't have them installed on your system and you have chosen minimal uh, system like server without GUI or workstation without GUI or whichever the option is that's without XORG during the first installation, you may need to run this command. But if you have them installed. Uh, for me, I have them installed, but I don't need all of this, so I'm gonna skip skip it. Okay. For you, you should press Y and enter. And then the next thing is to run this command. I don't want to run it because I don't want the service to be enabled automatically. The service of the display manager, like Light DM and GDM. For you, you may need to enable this one in order to make those uh, display managers one of them run automatically on your machine you can also run this command or run this command to install GUI or KDE all right this these commands I don't need to run them because I have my user these ones will add the user to your system and then the next command which is the command that will uh, uh, install tiger vnc server on your machine is this one before i run it let me clear uh, let me clear the screen for you all right so let's run the command that will install tiger vnc server for us press enter and why it's not very big so I may need to disable x11 VNC so let's try to do that sudo systemctl in case you have x11 inst uh, VNC installed you may need to run this command if I'm not mistaken yep Alright, so our Tiger VNC server is installed. It doesn't take so long. And then we make this. I believe it exists on my system, so it's not gonna change or do any ch any dif anything different. But then we make this file like this. And we take this, put it to it. like this 
okay and then we run the command that will make the VNC password it can be the same as your user password or it can be something different depending on your desire you can decide you put the password and then you press enter every time you run it and then the next command is this one for SE Linux but you need to change it to the user that you have created or your or the user that you are using in my case is Techni okay and then this command to put the display for every user like this and you scroll down one equals and your username in my case is Techni so it's gonna be like that save and exit and then I'm gonna run this command this this command before or above is you uh, optional you can skip running it okay so let's check if our VNC server is running or not by running the command like this it's running all right so now let's try to tunnel to it yes so you can see that I'm able to tunnel to it this is my VNC uh, password that I have made or decided before and this is my VNC tunnel okay the tutorial that I have shown you shows another way to do the tunneling this command or these commands you run them in case you want to make pl a plain VNC connection in my case I'm not doing it as you have seen I have done the tunneling to do the tunneling I'm gonna show you how to do it again first let's cancel here and then here let's exit and then the, co the command should be ssh the user the uh, the IP address I guess it's 8 not 11 the port if you changed your port in my case I changed it and I wasn't able to restore the defaults and then dash big L and then the port from your uh, client machine that you're gonna use in my case I'm gonna choose 9901 it can be 3901 it can be almost anything but you need to make sure that sometimes some ports are not do not let you get it working and then localhost your localhost name and then the port like this this is this one you run it on your server where you have installed your tiger vnc machine and then you run the command vnc localhost period uh, column and then the port that you have chosen depending on your choice in my case it was 9901 and here we are back to our VNC server as you can see and it's working fine let me show you your fetch I guess I don't have it installed all right let's try to run cut and see uh, like this or LSB there is something like release yes so here it is Alma Linux 9.2 alright so the tunneling is done correctly if you want to make a plain VNC connection you may need to run these commands for firewall D this command this must be always like you run this command from the first time you install the system otherwise your system may be vulnerable if there is no firewall is, uh, enabled alright so I tunneled uh, we may try to run this command who knows maybe it works let me check let's try to run it exit here done Here you put the password, the username, and then here 
the IP address 0 0 then 10 and then the poor thing can get the things must and let's cancel for me it always works with the other command but I'm just trying with this yep this can be an alternative way to do the SSH tunneling yes so let's try again yeah so probably it doesn't work anyway so don't forget to run these commands if you want to have a plain VLC connection um, I may delete x11 VLC if you have it installed and you want to get rid of it just because you have uh, Tiger VLC installed just delete it this way <coughs> yeah not here sorry here yes okay so let's try the tunnel again it's working as you can see just to make sure that nothing is broken from the VMC configuration and everything alright I guess the, there is nothing to add here nothing that's it if you want to have a plain VNC, as I said, you can uh, enable the firewall port or open the firewall port. Try this command, maybe it works for you. For me, it did not work. I will put this in the description. And before I finish the video, I will put, or you can see or watch one of the videos that I'm going to put in, in the suggestions for you. Make sure you subscribe in your, if you're interested in similar content. And cheers.